Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Witcher 2 on Nixus Gaming. We're here in King Hensel's camps here. K K King Hensel tells. We are here in King Henselt's camp here. And last time we started doing some of the side stuff. We fought in the arena. We played some dice poker. We did some arm wrestling with Adam Pangrat. And I'm going to start off today by looking at the notices. We're going to grab that uh, Rotfiend contract, the Grand Tourney. We did that last episode. Holders of square coins. That's a main thing we're working on. We got a square coin last episode. And don't hide your head neath a hood. This is for Sambor, who I guess can cut hair. All right. But that starts the Rotfiend contract. We're going to need a book on Rotfiends, and I don't think we've gotten that yet. But basically, like, rot fiends are basically ghouls, and, uh, I can't remember what their actual classification is. Necrophages. They're attracted to dead bodies, so the best way to get rid of them, burn the dead bodies. Alright, so we got that. We're gonna look for good old Zivik, who seems to be outside of the camp. Let's get away from all this Odrin nonsense. Uh, Zivik is the next guy we got to play in dice poker. I wanted to face him before heading out of the camp, but he's out here anyway. Oi, Witcher! Out in these wastelands, hunting monsters? Well, if you see two of my men, tell them I'll rip them both brand new assholes if they miss muster. Okay, uh, why did they go out there? What are they doing there? It's a common malady. A day don't go by that some dimwit don't sneak out of the camp to go to the gullies. Uh, they might be dead. They may never return. Anything's possible. But I for one hope they just overdid it with the liquor and fell asleep in some bush. Alright, well, I'll keep an eye out for we'll them. see if I come across anyone. Luck be with you. You're a good fellow. Ah, find them and you'll see Corporal Zivik knows how to be grateful. Okay, well... Before we do that, Zivik... What do you want, Witcher? Before we do that, you must love Hensolt. From what I can see, you and the men love your king. He's like a father to us, really. Comes around from time to time, chats it up, pats you on the mug. Remembers our names, too. Though you got to earn that in battle. Been so distinguished three times already. Pride myself on it. I'm sure it's a great honor for a humble soldier like yourself. Last time it happened, we was on the march. Some peasant poisoned his well. A few of our lads died. Many others got sick. I path... Path... Path aside that village. We hit them so hard, we even struck fear into our own boys. They went without a row for two days, and the king was very pleased. He came around, gave me a friendly punch in the gut, laughed, and said, You are one true son of a bitch. If you'd not been born among swine, you'd probably be king. That's how he is. Humane and all. He's really got a heart. Well, he might not have a head soon, but at least he has a heart. Did you participate in the battle? I did. And I fought. But I'd rather not go into it. The spirits of those who died in battle are now in combat on that field. They kill each other and change into nasty creatures called Draugrs. Adernians, Kedwenis, even your comrades. I want to help them, but I have to know what happened during the battle. Oh, the plague. Listen, then. The fighting started in the afternoon. The Dun Banner was first to attack. We were ambushed, cut off from our main unit and devastated. Bloody scouts and Sabrina Glevesig, who was supposed to mine the battlefield. By then, the battle was in full swing. Wherever you see those damned furrows, People fought there. The Adernian lines faltered a few times, but we couldn't crush them because of Selkirk. Yes, we had the visitor. They had Selkirk of Gullet, the invincible White Knight, Edern's finest swordsman. Wherever our forces gained the upper hand, he'd appear and reverse the fighting's course. Then, Vandergrift himself went into battle. He met Selkirk in the middle of the melee. It was a battle of titans. In the end, the Visitor hacked Selkirk and sliced the White Knight from his head to his balls. Then, death fell from the heavens. 
Lumps of burning soil flew through the air. The whole valley was on fire. Damned magic of a damned witch. I owe my life to Priest Crest, our chaplain. He led me out of the battle and went back for the others. He had a medallion that protected him against fire. He led everyone out, including the Adernians. But the flames got him in the end. Okay. So, I mentioned it last episode when talking to Pangrat. Uh, some of these NPCs talk about the Dun Banner, and you're going to want to pay attention, because we will be quizzed on it later. Uh, did the medallion disappear with him? You mentioned the priest. A really good man. He was with us the whole time, during the march, in the barracks, and in battle, among common soldiers. Freya gave him a medallion to protect him from fire. I don't know how true that is, but he led me and many others to safety. Who has this medallion? King Henselt. I saw it once. I don't know how he got hold of it, but he definitely had it. Were you at Brenna? Ah, yes. Cut down more black ones there than anywhere else. The Redanians were in disarray on the left when we joined the battle. Same with the Temerian regiments in the middle. We arrived just in time. Menno Cohorn commanded the Nilfgaardians. He was some leader. Even we feared him like fire, but somehow we prevailed. What happened to him afterwards? He refused to flee, died like many of us. Though no one knows who did it, and no one ever found his corpse. What happened before the battle? We forded the Pontar on the third day after the autumn equinox. The Adernians were waiting for us, formed up in a long line at the foot of those hills. I remember the banners of Wengerberg, Aldersburg, Gullet. Knights, armoured infantry, peasants, the Vergen Dwarf Regiment. All save the King. They numbered more than 5,000. General Vandegrift, commander of the Kedwenis, had less than 4,000, including the elite bearheads, armoured troops from Ard Karaig, and the famous White Foxes of the North. And ourselves, the Dun Banner, veterans of Brenner, hated by the Adernians more than the plague. But above all, we had Vandergriff the Visitor. Maybe he was a bastard, but he knew war like nobody else. Uh, that is obviously about the Battle of Vergen that took place three years ago here. It's kind of confusing because we also asked about the Battle of Brenna. This is about the Battle of Vergen. Do I have this right? You served in the Dun Banner? Did indeed. Henselt's never commanded a fiercer group of warriors, and he never will. If not for us, there have been no victory for the North at Brenner. We carried the day. I didn't see the Dun Banner in the camp. And you won't. The units no more. Ensign Eckhart Hennessy carried the standard into battle for the last time three years ago. Glevisig's magic? Worse. The Adernian troops, the bastards. The Dun Banner, the pride of Kedwen, lost its standard and almost all its men. The Visitor refused to send us reinforcements when we were cut off. The Dun must prevail. It's been in worse shite than this. The Dun will be all right. Seven Adernians to each one of us. We had no fucking hope. 200 men went into battle and less than 70 came back. But that's not all. Only a few survived to this day. The boys couldn't handle it. Suicide, firewater, fist tech. A few became highwaymen. They ended up on the gallows or in ditches. Memories can also kill you, and soldiers don't always deal with them well. I have to find that standard. I heard it lies in the catacombs neath Vergen, alongside my mates. Hey! If you're thinking of going there, I ought to give you my beaver skin cap. That's its rightful place. Alright, what about Seltkirk and the Visitor? Did you see the duel between Seltkirk and Vandergrift? From a distance. At the time I was on that hill, and they were somewhere over there. The field used to be as flat as a table. It was their second duel. Earlier, in peacetime, they'd met at a tournament in Ard Karaig. Selkirk won then. Vandergrift's sword cracked and the visitor had to yield. After the tournament, he had a new sword forged by Kedwin's best mages and swordsmiths. That's how Loathen came to be. 
I think that means hatred in the Elder language. Pretty pretentious. They say a sorcerer cast a spell on the sword and told Vandergrift the blade wouldn't crack as long as he remained invincible. The mage got fifty lashes and was the last to mention any such nonsense. Who has Vandergrift's sword now? When the Sea of Flames died out, the looters ran amok. They found Selkirk's chain mail, which survived somehow. Maybe it was magical too. Vandergrift's sword went missing. The boys in the camp claim the female dragon slayer has it, but I wouldn't even try talking to her. Who's got Selkirk's chainmail? Uh, a certain Vincent Trott. Low nobility, in the army since forever, a greedy bastard. Where can I find him? That's a problem. Deathmold wanted him arrested after they found a square coin on him. Some of the officers and noblemen want to get rid of the Black Ones. They don't like how they lord it around the camp, even though the King talks to them. Those coins are their sign, the stupid bunch of plotters. Anyway, Vincent's a swashbuckler. He thrashed Deathmold's people and disappeared. Those with the coins won't say a word because they're scared of Deathmold. Thanks, Civic. Alright, let's... So long. Let's quick save and let's play him in dice Richard? poker. Wait, I cannot save it this time. Hold on. So long. There we go. Game save. What saved. do you want, Witcher? I just don't want to go through all that dialogue again. I'd like to play dice. Want to play right now? Let's go. All right. Let's see what we got. I see three of a kind on threes. That's good. He has a full house. And we could go for a full house. We could re-roll these two and keep our three of a kind on threes, get two more. But even if we got sixes, it would match him. There's no way we're winning this. Holy shit. <laughs> we, we, we actually tied that out. That is amazing. Uh, okay, we got two pairs. Fives and sixes. He has two, three... We, he has a pair of threes. That's it. Hmm. So if he gets another three, he's going to beat our two pair. So I think the play here is to re-roll one of our pairs and hope for three of a kind. Oh, I almost lost a dice. I would have been mad. We got three of a kind on sixes. That's hard to beat. Here's your reward. That was good rolling. You deserve it. Who else plays dice around here? Madam Carol ought to play you. Interesting match that would be. That is actually where we are going next. Well, it was here yesterday. Was it? It was here yesterday? Damn, it's gone. Uh, yeah, I am surprised we managed to tie out that full house. That was amazing. This is the little camp outside of the camp that I was talking about. You can find the blue stripes up there. And you can find Madam Carol down here, along with a few more merchants, Raymond Gessler being one. to stock up on provisions. Seek and ye shall find, as the prophet Libyuda would say. He was a shepherd, had experience in seeking and finding. You know the good book? That's worthy of praise. Any discount on account of that? <laughs> no. No, no, why would I get you a discount? Lower the your prices. The Prophet encourages the giving of discounts. <laughs> I, I don't recall that verse. Oral tradition. Hmm. And if your neighbor offers you a basket of apples for a ram, say you shall take but half a basket, for ten more neighbors will come, and five of them will offer you two baskets of apples for the ram so many covet. An endless source of wisdom. Browse and choose. Sweet, I think we just got a discount. Um, we can roll some dice with him. He's also our storage guy for the chapter, apparently. Good to know. Uh, he has just a bunch of junk. One of these vendors here has the Rot Fiend book that I want to find. We need that for the contract, Browse. so... Uh, let's go ahead and roll some dice with him, just because we're here. Chances are he's going to beat me, even though we just beat one of the best players in the in the area. He lost a dice, though. That's not good. 
He has three of a kind on twos. We have three of a kind on twos. Well, we're both going to roll our extra dice and just see what happens. He's raising. He's confident. We got nothing. It's a draw. Okay. We're drawing a lot this episode. I don't know why. It's all luck-based, I guess. Uh, we got a pair of fives. He has two pairs, fours and twos. So obviously, like I said, with Zivik, if we get a three of a kind, we're going to beat his two pairs. He's raising. He's confident. Either that or he doesn't know how to play. We did not get three of a kind. We lost. Did I quick save? Did I quick save before facing him? I think I did, yeah. Hey, don't, hey, buddy. Hey, hey, don't walk away. Why did it go into... Why is it... Oh, because that's the storage oh, chest no. there I'm accessing. Okay. Alright, let's try this again. We have one, two, five, six, and two. We got a pair of twos. He has one, five, three, five, six. He has a pair of fives. Uh, we'll just try and go for three of a kind on twos. I think we're going to lose here again. We got three of a kind on twos. That one. Okay, cool. I fought the Nilf Guardians a few years back. Now okay, Sambor. He's another back. merchant. Greetings. Welcome an opportunity when it comes. They say you run a traveling pawn shop. Heard you even have books. <laughs> no song, no supper. Nobody mentioned you speak in proverbs. A willful man must have his way. Ah, you're doing this on a bet. How long do you have to go on like this? Lost time is never again found. Okay, what if you lose the bet? What happens if you lose the bet? Crows do not pick crow's eyes. Good luck anyway. Fortune is easily found, but hard to keep. I wish you persistence then. Can I see your goods? I'm mainly interested in those books. Better to ask the way than to go astray. Alright, uh, he's also the guy that can give you a haircut. Good to know. Alright, so books. What does he have? He has crafting diagrams. The normal crafting materials. He sells grape shots. That's nice. We don't have a lot of money, so let's focus on what we need first. Uh, I think we'll need the Heartbeat book for later in the chapter. Where? There's Draugr's. That's going to be important. We'll want that. And... Where is the one for for rot fiends? Did I miss it? Oh, rot fiends. The horrors of war. Rot fiends. We'll buy that. And then we will slowly start buying every other book just to read them and fill out our journal a little bit. Rooksa. Uh, I think we already have one on drowners. We'll take it anyway. It's hard to tell what books you've actually read. That's sort of a problem. Is there anything we can sell? Let's sell this junk. Uh, these are all quest items. Still can't get rid of the silver sword. Ericus armor. Uh, we're going to keep a lot of the crafting and alchemy stuff because I don't know if we'll need it. The Ericus trophy. We'll store that away. I like keeping trophies. Uh, get rid of these bombs. We'll keep the grape shot. No, we'll sell the grape shot. Make some more money. We never use the Karen trap, so it's just stuck in our inventory now. Cat and swallow are both good to keep. Enhancements? We'll, um... We'll probably sell a good bit of these. I don't really enhance my armor at all. I think we can get rid of both of those. And the silver dagger, definitely. And all three of these swords. 
Can that get us any more books? It can get us a few more. Yeah. All right, let's read up on these. We got Troll Entry, Bulvor, Gargoyle, Brooksa, Earth Elemental, Draugr. Did we already have the Rot Fiend one? Oh, that's, that's amazing. Um, have we read all these? This was in a different menu. Drog. That's good. Drog's a big monster that we'll need to fight. Sorry, I moved to another menu, so I don't actually know which of these we read. I wasn't paying attention. I suppose I should have been paying attention, but oh well. Alright, and those are all quest we items. We can Take sell these books back, things. but I want to keep them all so I can tell what I've bought and what I haven't bought. We'll sell them back the after we've bought all the books. Let's look for the madam. Madam Carol. Well, well, a witcher. Girls, from yourselves. How can I help you, handsome? Uh, okay, so... Talk to me. I wanted to talk. We're no strangers to the art of conversation, but it'll cost you just as much as a good plow. Ah, uh, how much? Sounds all right. Ask away, then. What would you like to talk about? How are things in the camp? Anything interesting going on in the camp? Soldiers are scared shitless, what with this battle approaching. They'd rather drink themselves silly than let us honest whores make some coin. Is that interesting? I doubt it. Not raring to fight, are they? They might have been eager at first, but the longer we sit here, the less lively they become. Fighting's like ploughing. Lust for one, and you lust for the other. Okay. Well, well, how... It just kind of spit me out of I the conversation. To... No it also so, didn't make me pay. I don't have any money right now, I just used it all. I wouldn't mind knowing what you think of Henselt. I'm a madam. What can I know about the king? I seem to remember that madams and innkeepers know everything. He used to come here to plough, to develop a camaraderie with the fighting men like, but that was just a phase. Most likely only ploughs sweet smilling ladies now. Well, I don't like that it keeps kicking me out of the conversation, but we got so, one more topic ask, left you... here. Any thoughts on the Virgin of Edern? Heard of the Virgin of Edern? Hasn't everyone. Any thoughts? Oh, yes. A maturing woman like that never been ploughed. Her head's bound to be muddled. We'll have peace when she drops her sword to grab a nice healthy prick instead. Okay. Well, how? Um, I'm looking for a whore. We've got plenty of those, you'll be glad to hear. But you'll need to show me your coin before you choose one. We all have our principles. This is where the square money comes into play, but I'm going to hold off on that. I've got the orans, if that's what you're wondering. Well, these are my girls. Choose, white-haired one. Uh, oh, okay. Um, Whistling Wendy is uh, the square coin one we got to find. Let's go with Birdie. Do they all cost different amounts? I only have five orans. Bribe rejected. Damn. Well, let's win some money from the madam, well, shall we? Well, how? Want to roll a few rounds of dice poker? Should we play? I don't have enough coin. Oh shit! I didn't think about that. Um. Are there trolls here? I actually I didn't think about that. We need coin to bet in dice poker. We have Let's head up here real quick. We'll do the stuff at the Blue Stripes camp. I know we can make money here. Shit, do I need money to do that too? Let's find Vess. If we, hey, hey, that's uh, Zoltan there. We'll ignore him for now. If we find Vess, we can finish the Av Henself quest. And maybe that'll give us money. And he Greetings, Geralt. Greetings, Vess. 
What news from the Blue Stripes? They're keeping their eyes open, as always. Alright, so if you remember last episode, we fought Vess in the tournament, and we did not go easy on her. And she will reward us for that. Could Henselt himself be behind the assassinations? You don't think it's possible? Consider the Pontar Valley. Temeria, Kedwin, and Edern have been disputing it for generations. Only now, Temeria and Edern are kingless. True. Henselt might profit from the deaths of Foltest and Demavend, but covert assassinations aren't his style. I suppose you're right. The Kedweni king seems to love a good war. Let's take a look around. Perhaps that's his ruse. When the cheese goes missing from the larder, no one thinks of blaming the cat. We've lost the assassin's trail. The trail led us here. If it goes no further, the assassins must be in the vicinity. I see two possibilities. Either Hensort hired them, or he's their next target. We'll find out soon enough. I feel like I'm doing these backwards. Henselt thinks he'll take Vergen easily. A regular army will always win against a popular uprising. I know this, Henselt knows it. I don't understand why Saskia doesn't. Maybe she'd rather die than surrender. Or she has a surprise in store for Henselt. Possibly. Henselt keeps the precise plans of his campaign a secret. Why haven't you set up in the Kedweni camp? Information becomes more available the closer you get to the source. Henselt doesn't trust us and I don't blame him. If not for this damn fog, we'd have moved even further south. I wanted to thank you. That was a great fight. The only great fights are those I win. It's no dishonor to lose to a mutant created for swordsmanship. If it wasn't a tournament but a battle, we wouldn't be speaking now. You were better than all the Knights of Ketwin put together. You're very kind. I'm sincere. A rare trait. Perhaps I should take advantage of this opportunity. Sure. Hmm. Since we're being honest, I'd like to have some wine with you. With pleasure. I wasn't expecting you to agree. This was your chance to get back at me. I have no need. In truth, I'm grateful to you. Interesting. I was sure you'd go easy on me. Then I'd have told you to bugger off. But since you took me seriously, I have some Tucson wine in my tent. Could I tempt you? Lead the way. I learned more about you from that duel than from all our conversations put together. I'm curious. According to Geralt of Rivia, what is Vess like? She's ambitious, honorable, and beautiful. In that order? What if I say the reverse? If you think I don't like to hear compliments about my beauty, you're very wrong. I'm a soldier, and it pisses me off when I'm viewed as a pair of tits atop an ass. But I'm also a woman. And like every woman, I have my needs. In that case, let's drink to your needs. I fulfill my needs differently. Then what do you want to drink to? To us. I didn't know there was an us. Better to live a day as a king than a life as a beggar. First we'll drink the wine, then we'll go to bed. Can we do it the other way around? Vess is one of two romance options in this game. Uh, she is obviously the roach path. If you go with Yorveth, you can't get her. Instead, you get some elf woman that I'm not sure of. And there's definitely some censoring and some blurring that I'm going to have to do here. Those are some nice tattoos on her back. And all along her arms and down by that part of her... Yeah, definitely gonna have to censor and blur this a good bit. Yeah, just uh, use your imagination, guys. He spreads his cheeks and says, I can see that. Did they take him? Okay. That should complete the Av Henselt quest. It says it Semper updated. Ah, uh, there we go. Now it's completed. Did we get any money for that? I hope so. Nope. Five orens. No, we haven't done. We haven't leveled up in a while. We have like two. We have four talents. Oh my god. Let's go ahead and use those, shall we? Uh, I can't remember what I was doing here. Uh, position. 
Do we want that? Yeah, we'll we'll take position two. Got violence two already. Whirl two. That's good. I will take vit or hardy two. Get more vitality. We can upgrade our critical effects, our chance of instant kill, and our chance of critical effect bleeding. All three of those are really good, actually. Um. Or we can double back through this tree here. Maybe get Tough Guy for damage reduction. Yeah, let's get Tough Guy because we're totally having a problem staying alive. Don't care about Schemer or Footwork. Or Guard, really. So let's, let's upgrade our instant kill chance next time. And yeah... We need money, is what we need, because Watch I'm an yourself. idiot. These are Ponzi's, not soldiers. But I don't we'll think I can them. fight Finn, these guys without keep money. Keep dropping your guard like that, and they'll beat your kisser to a pulp! Who do we have here? Someone who's worried about your close combat skills. We practice a few hours every day. And here I thought practice makes perfect. Really? Care to show us your skill, then? White-haired one. Yeah. Why not? Who's willing? I'll try. See if you're as strong in your arms as you are in your gob. Let's do it. Let's see what my friend Vernon taught you. Make some room. Move it. Okay, so we aren't Dutch. making bets right here. Job. We're just going. Good. 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 Terrible good. losses on the left flank. They almost broke our ranks. Their swords dropped their pikes and ran to the archers' corpses. Did they start looting? Hopefully, we do get some money for this. Got a feeling Fen won't remember much of that fight. With a few more surprises up our sleeves. How about you? Yeah, let's go. Why not? Who's willing? Take me on. I fancy learning a few witches tricks. Let's see what my friend Vernon taught you. Make some room. Keep your guard up. Shot That's more bit. like it. Ah. <laughs> oh, so easy. So easy. Ha! <laughs> He's still young. He'll learn. With a few more surprises up our sleeves. How about you? I think we have two more fights. Why not? Who's willing? Oh Run no, one more fight. One more. Why are you fighting my men? Just checking to see if you've taught them well. And? I'm amazed they're still standing. You lackeys. Letting yourselves get thrown around like hay bales. Maybe you want to give me a try. Oh, you're right. Yeah, let's fight Roach. Show me what you got, my striped friend. That was fast. <laughs> you win. Feels like I've been kicked by a mare. Pleasure getting a few slugs in the mug from you, Witcher. We're always eager to learn. You deserve a prize. Is it money? A reward. It's no reward, just a sign of gratitude. We drag our asses round the world and collect all sorts of scrap metal. Take something. May it serve you well. See you soon. Not so fast, Witcher. Oh, here we go. I You'll forgot about this me part. On now. You snitch. I'm a snitch? Okay. So be it. So this one here is actually a separate quest than against the blue stripes, and this one will lead into chapter three. What the bloody hell's all this about? We're just practicing. Want practice? I'll have you cleaning the canteen with your bare asses. How's that for practice? Back to the camp. I sir. That doesn't end this. Stop looking for square coins. You oh. And you just might lose your head over it. That's so what I'm this is about. Square coins. Well, I can't buy stuff with a square coin, so... We got our orders and got busy. We still have five orans. She comes up to but it looks says, like we have more stuff to sell, to so... Let's go sell that, and hopefully we will have enough to play dice poker with the madam.
That'll get us more money, and I don't think we'll need money after that. Okay, so what exactly did they give us? Probably a bunch of crafting stuff. I think they also gave us some enhancements. Yeah, steel plate enhancement. That's pretty good, but we aren't going to use it. That was four whole orins. Um, gave us some daggers, though. Let's sell those. That's 49. Is that enough? I don't think that's enough. Well, how... I wanted to. No, no, no! I no. I'm. Well, how? There we go. Want to roll a few. Should we play? Okay, we got the money now. We're gonna bet max. Oh, I didn't quick save. That's fine. That's fine. We're gonna win. Uh, we got a pair of threes. She has one, two. Th she has a fucking straight. God damn it. Um, we're not going to win here. We are not going to win here. Yeah, I would raise two if I were her. Yeah, saw that coming. Don't worry. You know what they say. Unlucky at dice, lucky at love. <laughs> Took over. Let's try that again, shall we? That's not the right woman. Here we go. I totally didn't reload the save. I would never do that. Want to roll a few rounds of dice poker? Should we? Let's roll them. Hopefully she doesn't get a straight right away this time. Uh, let's see. We got... She lost a dice. We got a pair of fives. She has two pairs, ones and twos. So, let's go for that three of a kinds. If she kept that dice, she could have easily gotten a full house. So, it's kind of a good thing she lost it. We got three of a kind on fives. She went for a full house, but apparently three of a kind is better than a full house. I did not know that. I don't play a lot of poker in real life. You've cleaned me out. Anyone else I can fleece around here? Lesota, the quartermaster's helper. He plays dice. Oh, there's another one, Lesota. I thought we'd be done with her. Okay. Uh, I was kind of expecting to be able to not need money anymore and try and buy the rest of these books, but not another fucking. I don't want to lose money right now when I need to bet it. So let's go face Lesota real quick, and then we'll deal with our money. And I think when we're done with this Audrey, dice poker, where are you? we will finally be done with all the diversions of this round. Oh, right, right. I remember. He told us to face the other ones. That makes sense. So? Uh, let's be That's smart me. this time and quick save beforehand. So? I'd like to play dice. Want to play right now? Yeah, right now. That's why I'm talking to you, buddy. He raised the initial bet. This guy is a baller. I love that. I got a pair of ones, pairs of twos. He has a pair of ones. Oh, wait. No, we don't have a pair of twos. We just have a... We both have a pair of ones. We both literally have the worst hand in the game. And he raised the initial bet. Well, what is wrong with these people? Uh, nothing. Nothing. He ended up winning with... He re-rolled everything. That was probably... He didn't stand it. Honestly, a good move on his part. When you have the worst hand in the game, you might as well re-roll everything, right? I'll keep that in mind for the future. He, he outplayed me there, I'll admit it. I'd like to... Wanna I'm still gonna reload, so I didn't technically lose. Uh, we got a pair of threes, pairs of ones. He has three of a kind on fives. That is no bueno. We can try for a three of a kind on threes, but that's not going to be enough. He's going to raise here. 
We would need need four of a kind to beat him. Yeah, no, that's a loss. You didn't stand a chance. Dude, at this point, I really don't stand a chance. This guy's actually really good. No wonder he's raising instantly on the initial bet. So, I'd like one up. He raises so much, though, on the initial. That's crazy. Pair of twos, pairs of fives. He has another three of a kind. God, I don't like this guy. I'm going to try and get three of a kind on my fives to match him at least. He's going to go for either a full house or four of a kind, though. He got that full house. We got what we wanted, but he got what he needed. Damn. You didn't stand it. So? I'd like one of... Well, we got him that time. He resigned. He had two pairs there, six and two. We just had a three of a kind on threes. He could have easily, easily done it if he just got another six. I don't know why he resigned there. But we got it, it nonetheless. Won. You want coin or something special? Uh, if you get something special, I think it's just a bunch of crafting diagrams, which he sells himself, and we definitely I'll need take the money, my coin, so. Thanks. I didn't catch how much he gave us there. We can check. Oh, 396? That is a good bit to try and get the rest of these books here. So let's head back to good old Samber. We'll uh, try and clean him out on his books, sell some back. And then there's one more merchant in this little camp area that we can check out before we end the episode. Oh, look at the dog rolling Both over. Be really Better do All right. Check the books. Yeah, see, all the check marks mean is that we have those in our inventory. If we sell them back to him, we won't have that check mark. So that's why I want to get them all in one go. There's the Ericus, the Dun Banner, the Grand Triple, Nilfgaardian Provinces. Hontar Valley, Special Forces, and that looks like all we can get. I'm pretty sure we actually already I read a few of those from Chapter 1. But again, it's more or less just to be safe and make sure we have everything. See, we just got entries on Nilfgaard, the Dun Banner, and Ericus. I also wasn't paying attention to what exactly I bought, so I'm just going to read them all again. Just like that. There we go. What's it to us? We didn't have the Ericus entry before, so that was good. An and this is the Mysterious oh, Merchant, the same one we found in yeah. Chapter 1. He's here now. Oh, right. He doesn't have dialogue. He just trades. He has the Armor of the Banard, which is pretty good. He has a bunch of crafting diagrams and runes. Enhancements. And that sword is actually pretty good too. All of these swords are good. Better than what we got. But I'm not in the business of buying swords, so... We will we skip on that. Oh, dandelions somehow. here. The spit at the sight well, um, of the black ones. Turn our heads away. Do we yes, want to talk to friends. Dandelion, Zoltan, and probably Sheila? They're all important, mistake. right? I mean, they're important characters. We just haven't been actually pointed to them yet, you know? Well, it was here yesterday. Yeah, it was here yesterday, dude. 
We don't have time to do another quest this episode. I wanted to try and get the Rot Fiend contract done. But we aren't going to be able to. So I think... Uh, unless you guys really want to stick... Oh my... Shut up, everyone. Unless you guys really want to stick around for the dialogue, I'm not going to do any major quests. I'm just going to talk to at least Sheila, maybe Zoltan, and um, and Dandelion too. But they're important. I at least want to knock it out. I'd assumed that after killing the Karen, the Pontar Valley would hold no further interest for you. You know nothing about me, Witcher. I'm here because two northern monarchs were murdered. It's quite probable Henselt is next on the list. We don't need another country descending into chaos. King Henselt cannot die. I'll make sure of that. It's pretty obvious you and Deathmold don't exactly get along. Deathmold is an overgrown baby. A fine match for King Henselt. The problem is that he's as jealous as he is childish. He claims I wish to steal his position at the Kedweni court. Nothing could be more absurd. Nothing could be more absurd. Foltest's killer forced Triss to teleport him to Vergen. They're somewhere nearby. That nosy little meddler Triss used my megascope to accomplish that. But I suppose I should be grateful. After all, I might have been the Kingslayer's victim. Even if Triss is in Vergen, I cannot locate her. This damn fog prevents any kind of magical probing. A sorceress like you must know bundles about paranormal phenomena. Any mage's knowledge has little to do with superstitions. The Wild Hunt's no superstition. Indeed, the phenomenon exists. I want to know everything about it, including what you know. You're out of luck. I've never concerned myself with it. I'm also not interested in whirlwinds or hailstorms. Okay, that's everything with Sheila. We didn't learn too much. We know Triss used her megascope to teleport the Kingslayer to Vergen. Vergen, by the way, is uh, on the other side of the mist from here. I believe if you go on the Yorvith path, instead, this chapter will actually take place in Vergen for the most part. You do cross over in both sides. We will cross over to Vergen eventually, and if you're on the Yorvith path, you'll cross over to here eventually. But the most of the chapter takes place on one side or the other based on what you chose. Life can be really strange. All right, where was the Zoltan? We found him back. first. Now he was up in the Blue Stripes the camp. Pay me a call. Got some nice soup and bread. We should have our sea. We'll talk to him in the order we actually found him at. There he is. The elder Greetings, Geralt, in these humble foreign walls. Greetings. My heart rejoiced to see that dear old noggin of yours emerge from a sea of unknown faces. I see you prefer the company of Vernon and his men. The soldier in Hensel's camp looks at me like I'm a lump of rotten meat. You think they suspect you of being a spy? Who the fuck knows what's in their bloody heads? You know what? I regret I'm not a spy. I feel like the last bloody cunt here. Somewhere nearby, my brethren are sharpening their axes, just waiting for the fog to dissipate so they can blunt them on some kid when he necks. You've been around. Heard anything about the Kingslayer? Just that Henselt is shitting himself for fear that his head is about to be separated from his shoulders. For me, the assassin's hiding out in the ravines, an ideal place for his kind. Anyway, I've been wondering. Why the fuck do you care so much about this cunt that you're so ready to stick your neck out to find him? Because I'm innocent. The wise know that. And I didn't think you'd trouble yourself about what the fools think. As long as Letho is free, I'll remain a suspect. I can only prove my innocence by presenting the culprit. No other way. What will you do when you find him? We'll see when I talk to him, when I learn the truth. Maybe I'll see his point. And maybe I'll just cut off his head. All rested after the boat trip? You don't remind me of that. My stomach churns at the very thought. You could have traveled here on foot. If I'd known it before days of rocking, I would have. And if they told me I'd be eating dried and salted cord three times a day, I'd have clobbered myself with my own hammer before boarding that boat. You're spending all your time in Roach's camp. Have you two become chums? Chums? That's a bit rich. 
But he doesn't piss me off as much as he used to. Either he's changed or I've grown accustomed. Maybe both. Maybe. Besides, the camp has loads of other attractions. His men cheat me at cards and there's a tit or two to hang the gaze upon. If that's what you're after, there's a regular whorehouse in Henselt's camp. How can you compare a whore's tits to Vessie's? I could buy myself the others, but hers are just to be admired. I heard you had a bit of fun with Vess. Did she tell you? No. Is there anything to tell? Ask her. Always fun talking with Zoltan. Always fun. Um, I wanted to mention it earlier, but like in this game, Roach is kind of an asshole and not it's very likable. Hate him as much as you want. In The Witcher 3, he's one of the handful of people that actually comes to help out all the Witchers, if you get him to. Like, he, he's genuinely a good dude. I like Roach. I see you finally decided to relax. Have I ever told you I think you lead a very unhealthy life? You've mentioned it. Evidently not enough for you to take it to heart. Anyway, the whores are quite decent here. Maybe some other time. You worry me. I wonder what Sheila's doing in Henselt's camp. You're not alone, because she's wondering what you're doing at the King's side. How do you know? She asked me about you. What did she want to know? I have no idea. I realized right off she was sniffing, and told her she could smell my fingers if she wanted. But that'd be all she'd get. And she gave up. Mm-hmm. See how careful I am? Have you tried to, uh, approach Vess? I've thought about it. On the one hand, I've never rogered a soldier, but on the other, the clean clang of steel against steel and an intimate moment could put off even the most attentive lover. Why do you ask? I'd just like to know. I heard you dueled each other. You heard right? You came out on top in the arena. Maybe you should try her in a... another setting. Could be interesting, I guess. Really? You slept with her? Mm-hmm. And how was she? Spill it! Well, there was no clean clang of steel. Heard anything about Letho? They say he's hiding in the ravines. He's not alone. I know. I fail to comprehend exactly why you have it in for him. He escaped, so what? You're no king, and as such, are hardly in danger. Letho knows a lot about me. There are certain things that probably only he can explain. I'm not so certain you really want to know them. We'll see. Let's say you catch him. What then? I'll decide once I've heard him out, learned the truth. Maybe I'll see his point, or maybe I'll just cut off his head. Henselt's camp is abuzz with rumors about the events three years ago. When you burn a sorceress at the stake, rumors spread faster than the seed of a lascivious baron. I know you primarily value sorceresses for their firm busts, but I'm curious. What do you think of Sabrina Glevisig? Sorceresses complain about feeling underappreciated, persecuted even. But let me tell you, Geralt, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. If they didn't meddle, they wouldn't be burned at the stake. They keep whining about the horrors that took place on Thanet Island, about the order of the world being destroyed. But let me ask you, who brought that about if not them and their scheming? My memories and feelings seem inextricably linked. I seem to be recovering both. I believe Yennefer's alive and I'll eventually find her. Triss? Yennefer? That's some life you lead, my friend. First off, we have no idea if Yennefer's still alive. Second, we have no idea if Triss is alive. Hmm, true. You seem to have two women, when in fact, you don't even have one. Their kind doesn't die easily. I'll find Triss as soon as I've dealt with the assassin. What about Yennefer? I won't know what to do about her until I see her. Well, at least we have Vess right now, right? All right, that's the dialogue of the three important characters I wanted to clear out. So that'll end off today's episode. Next time, I believe all the rot fiend bodies we got to burn are in this area. There's a rot fiend right over there with some of the bodies, I'd assume. Uh, we'll start with that, and then we'll start adventuring out into this area and doing some more side quests. Might go visit the pyre where Sabrina was burned, do some things down there. Who knows? But we'll do that next time. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.